Hey, welcome back. We got a delivery. Give me one second. Well, that escalated quickly. Okay. So let's get this thing unboxed, shall we? Yeah, I'm terrible at my first. Dude, I cannot wait. This is so much fun. We got styrofoam. What do you guys like to do with styrofoam? This thing really well. I don't want to let you guys see me be a heathen the whole time, so. Are you ready for the big reveal? I don't know. Don't do that as a bag. Well, check this out. It comes with all kinds of cool stuff. We got our anchors, USB port. We got some keys. And definitely our ever-loving instructions so you don't get that awful siren going on. All right, so let's get this sucker open. Step one, get your key. It has an emergency key slot right there. Slide it in, window, and we got her open. We got some cool pistol pouches, some stuff to, you know, put like other magazines and all kinds of stuff up in here. Right here to get the keypad working. Pop that open. I already did that because it's boring. Put yourself four AA batteries in there. Let's give it a try. Check out this keypad. Close it. Take out our key. And. Bingo. All right, she works like she's supposed to. No, I'm not keeping that password. I'm gonna change it to something else that you don't know about. All right, so right up here we have, this is pretty nifty. We can hold five pistols up here and two in the door. Yeah. I like that. We have a couple of uh, rifle separators down there at the bottom that we need to get set up. Okay, and check this out. What happens if you got a knucklehead that's trying to break into your safe? Check this out. We're gonna mess with it like we're gonna put in a wrong password. It'll beep. <whistles> then you have to deal with this annoying alarm and it'll let you know, hey, somebody's trying to break in. That's pretty cool. My other safe at the house definitely doesn't have that. And I have a feeling this little alarm will keep people away from my primer stash. <laughs> this thing has, I'm not Vanna White, but this thing has push button locks. It also has a fingerprint lock that you get in there, bingo, you set it up, you put your thumbprint on it, it recognizes it and it'll let you in. That's another really, really sweet little nifty feature of this thing. So this is called the blacksmith safe. Check them out. I will leave something below for y'all to look at. It's pretty neat. It fits in a really small area. You know what's really obnoxious is when you lose your password in a digital safe, but this thing actually will remember the password that you store in it even after the batteries die. What more could you ask for? On top of that, this has a silent mode that will prevent your location leakage in case of an emergency. All in all, it's not a bad little safe for what they are.